Hello everyone, welcome to Omega Survival. Um, last winter, I did a small video of old coal mine ruins, but I had a very poor camera. The visibility was very poor, it was very shaky. I didn't even actually have a camera, it was a tablet. And um, it created a very poor video, and I actually think it was the second video I ever did. So, I'm actually at the same place now, and I'm going to flip the camera around and show everybody the ruins of an old coal mine. As you can see, there's some places that collapsed in. Now this doesn't go deep right here, maybe only 15, 20 feet deep, because the mine goes this way and down. It doesn't just drop straight down. The only places it drops straight down is near a coal breaker, and I'm actually on the foundation of that, but I've been under this thing quite a few times, and I've not been able to find the entrance. I think they closed it in, but here's actual foundations to the coal breaker. Um, considering where this is, The actual shaft that goes straight down is probably right under my feet, but I wasn't able to find it in the side of the holes I just showed you in the ground. It's actually like a maze down there, and I was down there for about two hours exploring, and it just goes on and on and on. And there's tracks down there for the old coal carts. Um, going this way, the way I'm walking right now, at that way, but uh. It's closed off at the wall, but it's collapsed all over. There's another collapse right there. Right there. Right there. I really think the state should come in and seal all these holes up. They're very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Here's the fire I got going about an hour and a half later. I processed a bunch of wood down. There's the small stuff, and the bigger stuff, and even bigger white birch. There's a lot of wood here, there, it's everywhere around here. I don't have to go far, there's more there. There's more there. There's just fallen trees everywhere right here. It's a good spot, it's flat. And there's a spring, maybe three hundred to five hundred yards from here, probably. I don't know. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a tour of where I was. There's the Park River Parang. <laughs> That's a really awesome tool. If I had one knife, just one, to bring into the woods, um, I really can't say enough good stuff about this. It's a quarter inch thick A2 tool steel, like I had said before. And it's also good as a draw knife. Um, you sit on a log. bark and it just it chops better than my wetterlings axe and I'm ashamed to even say that um, I love my wetterlings axe though and I still use it a lot but it seems the American woods around here um, this parang just works awesome so I'm Mike with Omega Survival, and this was my bush camp, bushcraft camp part three. So stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and watch the next video. Thanks for watching.